So in part two, we got the login and lockout uh, scripts working. Uh, so we're going to continue with our application and we're going to build our lists.php uh, page. So once I log in, uh, we get a list.php page, but there's nothing there. So we want to add some, uh, some information to this page. Uh, mostly we want to add categories and we want to get the individual uh, contacts for those categories. So what we need to do is we need to go into our editor and go under lists.php and opening and closing PHP tags and we need to do our session start piece and then we're also going to do an if there is no session logged in variable then we're going to send the person back to whoops, the index.php page. Otherwise, we can start including all of our pieces. So we can do include once includes slash functions.php. And this is going to contain all of our uh, get contacts and get categories uh, information or functions. And then we'll do an include slash function, oops, views.php and include once includes header.php, which is just going to have our um, HTML and header information. Now we need to get our categories for, um, or all the categories we have in our application. So I'm going to set up a get categories method in our functions page. So I have that down here. So we have get categories, and I'm just going to switch over to my functions page uh, that I had set up. So we're going to get our categories. We need to set up a new connection. using our get connection method and we're going to query equals select everything from categories and then we're going to do our results equals mysql query and we're going to pass in our query and we're just going to return the results for that so that's all we need to do uh, to get our categories all set up. So I'm going to switch back to my lists.php page. And I'm going to jump over the menu that I'm going to set up. But while cat is equal to MySQL fetch associative array, we're going to pass in uh, the cat results that we got back. So we're going to echo out h3, and we want this to be linked as well. So we're going to pad it, pass in uh, a hyperlink. I'll explain this in a second. Uh, so what we're doing is we're going to create a category.php script and we're going to pass in an ID and that ID is going to be what is pulled from the database. Uh, so we need to pass in the current ID of the um, record that, it, that is pulled from our results. So now we have that all set up. And we need to uppercase words. And we're going to pass in our category dot cat name. Close our anchor and close our uh, heading three tag. So now we're going to use contacts variable and we're going to set that to the get contacts for the current category that it's on. And we're going to pass in the ID. Uh, and then we are going to create a display 
contacts page, and we're going to pass in the results that we get back from the get contacts uh, method. So we need to build the get contacts piece and also build the display contacts uh, piece. You can probably hear my dog in the background. Um, so now I'm going to switch back over to my functions.php page. And in the get contacts piece, I am going to get a new connection. And we are going to query select everything from contacts where cat ID is equal to our current cat ID. And we're going to pass that in. So we're going to get results back. MySQL query. Query. Then we're going to return those results. So that is our get contacts piece. Um, there's one method that we need to create if I go back in my list, which is the display contacts piece. And all that this really is going to be doing is formatting uh, each of these contacts. So we're going to go under views. And right now there's nothing there. So we're going to open and close PHP tag and create a new function called display contacts. And we're going to pass in our results to that. Now I want to set up a table. Um, so we're going to use table border is equal to zero, cell padding is equal to two, cell spacing is equal to zero, and class is equal to contact list. This will make more sense once I get into setting up the, uh, the CSS. And I'm going to put in a table row, and I'm going to add some table heading elements. So I want to give a number for each row. Do th name, th email, and phone. And now this is where we get into using those results that we're passing in. So I'm going to create open and close PHP tag. I need to create an iterator ID, so um, or an in incrementer uh, variable here. And I'm going to use a while row is equal to MySQL fetch associative array results. All right, and this is going to run through every, for each element or each row that we have in our results. Uh, another thing we could have done here is using a for, save, uh, for loop, and I could have just set row equals, is equal to MySQL fetch ASOC inside of the, the for loop body. Um, but I think it's easier to use it this way. So we're going to do echo tr class equal to row, and I'm going to pass in dollar sign i modulus 2 I can't remember if I covered what modulus does but it just gets the remainder um, so if i mod, or if i is 0 modulus 2 there's going to be a remainder of 0 um, i modulus or uh, if it's 4 4 modulus 2 is going to be 0 because 2 goes into 4 evenly uh, so it's just going to get the remainder And we're just going to close that out. Echo CD. We're going to put in our dollar sign I. Close our TD. Echo TD. And now we're going to be creating a link to our contact.php page uh, so that way we have an easy way to go in and modify uh, this record or this row. So we're going to use contact.php um, and pass in uh, the ID in a query string. And we need to pass it current rows ID. 
we can continue with our HTML build. And we need to pass in a row F name. And we need to add a little space in between the two variables. So row F name and row L name. And now we just close out our anchor and our TD tag and echo TD row pass in our email and do the same thing for our phone Last thing we need to do is we need to increment our dollar sign i variable. Uh, so if that way, as it goes through, um, the number in our uh, the number that's displayed, so each each row has its own number. Um, oops, I need to change this to one so that way we don't start off with zero. So if dollar sign i is equal to one then we want to handle if there are no uh, oops, if there are no records found. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to check if i is equal to its starting value. And if it is, then we are going to, whoops, I need to add call span. We're going to create a table row that actually says no contacts found. And because we're using a table, we need to add call span in it. So that way it spans the number of um, the number of table rows or the, the table data cells that we have. I um, need to change that to four. And we're going to add no contacts found. Close out our table data cell and our table row. And we're going to end our table, and that is the end of our display script. So now if we come back out to our list.php page and go back to our page here, we should, uh, we had a syntax error, so line 33 on the views. Let me figure out where my error is, hold on. All right, I figured out what my issue was. Um, I had the short version of my opening and closing PHP tag here. Um, for some reason, I, I don't have it set up in my uh, PHP configuration to accept that right now. Um, so now if I refresh, and then we get our coworkers, friends, and Nick's uh, information here. Um, this is demo data that I had from when I built the application. Uh, yours will probably just have nothing. Uh, so, or whatever I provide uh, for demo data, which will most likely be this information. Um, so you guys should be, as long as you're seeing this, you should be okay, uh, providing I actually fix this phone number, which I'll do once I, once I finish the application. Uh, the next thing we're going to be building is our menu at the top and building something to process and uh, building the, uh, the forms for each of these items, our categories and our contacts and then also building the, uh, the pieces to process it. Um, so that's going to be the next couple of videos, and then I'll get into building the CSS afterwards. So stay tuned for that.